It's hump day, dogs. After the pledge, picture day, scholarship meeting, call-out meetings, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Picture Day is coming up on Thursday, August 24th. Grades 9 through 11, please click the link in the chat or to order. Seniors, you'll be given a code at the time you take your picture. There is a Class of 2024 scholarship meeting this Friday. To sign up, please go to Student Services. For any boys interested in, a ba in basketball, there is a call-out meeting this Friday there in community. If you're interested but can't make it, be sure to go see Coach Scholl in room 213 or email him. The girls' basketball team will be having a call-out meeting there in community for any girl that is planning on or wanting to play basketball this winter. The meeting is on Thursday, August 17th in the upper portion of Case Arena. Check in with your community teachers first, then come on down to Case Arena. Now to the guy who also lost his voice at the volleyball game last night, Aiden Hotsmith. Yo, 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 it's hump day, baby. We're halfway through another week. How are we feeling? Last night, the volleyball team fell to Rossville one to three. After starting game one strong, the girls came out flat in game two. Then game three and game four were both very close with scores of 24 to 26 and 23 to 25. The dogs have a lot of youth in their lineup, including freshman libero Caroline Queen, who de debuted with 27 digs. Jalen Smith had a strong offensive performance with 29 assists and 10 kills. Following, Lily Rockhold had 10 kills, Justine Thomas had 8 kills, and Brooklyn Perry was strong at the net with 4 kills and 3 blocks. Also contributing offensively, were Ella McAtee and Daisy Valdez, both with three kills apiece. Defensively, Morgan Harrington had a strong night with 14 digs. Ashley Zhang served several exciting runs and also added five digs. And Tiffany Zhang picked up three digs. The JV also lost to Rossville, zero to two. Chloe Mowdy led the way with two kills, two blocks, and an ace. Addie Keck had four aces. Carmen Vegg had a strong first game with six digs, and Aaron Wills added five digs. Ellie Perez added two kills. The volleyball team is back in action tomorrow at Southmont with JV starting at six and varsity following. Nice job, ladies. Now, before we get into last night's soccer games, we'll send it to Ingrid with today's weather. Thank you, Aiden. Good morning, hot dogs. Walking into school today, you may have noticed that it's getting a bit colder each day. So dress warm and get ready for fall hot dogs. It's almost hoodie season. The low for this morning is 54 degrees with a high of 78 degrees later today around 5 p.m. Today's gonna be a beautiful because it's gonna be sunny all day. Looks like that's it for weather hot dogs. Have a great Wednesday and now sending it back to Aiden. Thanks Ingrid. Last night the boys soccer team played at Logan Sport for their season opener. Coach Tyson says, Despite a good effort and solid play, Frankfurt could not find the back of the net. They created many chances in build-up and on-set pieces. He states, The defense did well to keep most shots from distance, and goalie Giovanni Escamilla made 10 saves on many shots in close. The Hot Dogs are looking to bounce back at home on Thursday versus Western Boone. Nice effort, dogs. The Lady Hot Dog soccer team opened up their season last night hosting the visiting Logan Sport Berries. Coach Field said the Lady Hot Dogs controlled the action well in their first half playing on the Logan Sport half of the field using crisp passes and individual dribbling to attack the Berries. The Hot Dogs defense also had a strong first half holding the, speedy, the speed towards the Berries had attacking. Coach also stated that the, the, the few times that Logan Sport managed to break through one of the two girls typically tracked them down in Syra Flores and Judas Sarabia. Goalie Vanessa Guardardo had a fairly easy first half in being challenged only a few times with shots, but helped her def def defensive front by coming out aggressively to scoop up balls that leaked into the penalty area. Field writes, 
The Lady Hot Dogs got on the board on a corner kick seven minutes into the half. Michelle Martinez placed a great ball into the penalty area that bounced off a few players and then Ava Michael managed to put the loose ball into the back of the net, scoring the Hot Dogs' first goal of the season. The Lady Dogs also managed to work a corner kick with seven minutes left in the game in the second half. Michelle, once again, placed a great ball into the area where Emily Mora volleyed at home to give the Dogs a 2-0 lead with seven minutes to play. The Berries ended up scoring one goal later in the second half, and the Dogs closed it out with a 2-1 win. Amazing job, ladies. Way to open the season. And last but not least, the boys' tennis team hosts Fountain Central tonight at home for their, for their season opener. Make sure to wish them a good luck. And boys, go out there and cause a racket. That's all for today's long sports session. Have a wonderful Wednesday, dogs. Now, back to your HDTV hosts. Yesterday's trivia answer was Mr. Sully. The only one who got it correct was Mr. Hammond. Good job, Mr. Hammond. For lunch in lines one and two will be chicken snap wrap snack wrap and in line three is soup and salad and in line four will be pepperoni bosco stick now a big happy birthday to Diana Alanis and Colby Den. that's it for the announcements today dogs have a harmonious hump day <laughs>